hello everyone welcome to solve this problem for the values of l m and n if we have l m equals to 100 m n equals to 200 and l n equals to 300 and we solve this problem for the values of l m and n so uh, here first we uh, call this is our equation number one and we call this is our equation number two and we call this is our equation number three so here the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we multiply uh, equation number one by equation number three and it is divided by equation number two. So here you see that uh, this is our equation number one, this is two and three. So we multiply left hand side with the left hand side and we uh, divide uh, its uh, uh, right hand side with the right hand side and divide by a third number okay so here uh, you see that first we have we multiply equation number one by three so it means that we multiply left hand side of equation one with left hand side of equation three so uh, the left hand side of equation one is lm multiplied by the left hand side of equation three is uh, mn uh, sorry lm ln and it is divided by Two, so the left hand side of 2 is equals to m into n and in the right hand side we have uh, we first multiply this 100 by 300 and it is divided by uh, the right hand side of equation number 2 so it is 200 so uh, now in the next step here we need uh, some simplifications and you see here uh, this n is cancelled out by this n and this m is cancelled out by this m and here you get in the left hand side is l is multiplied by l becomes l square and this is equals to so here you see that uh, this 2 0 and these 2 0 are cancelled by each other and here you uh, here we get only 300 divided by 2 so here we uh, we cancelled uh, this value by 2 and you see that 2 1s are 2 and uh, we carry 1 and 2 5s are 10 and 0. So uh, here uh, you get the value of L square equals to 150. So because in the given question we uh, need to find the value of L. So here uh, we need to take the square root on both of the sides of this equation. So that when you take a square root on both of the sides, it is written as in this form. So these two and square root are gone and in the left hand side we have L. So now here we write this is a square root of 150 into the simplified form. So we write this as plus minus into uh, we write this 150 as 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6. And we know that uh, this is equals to uh, L equals to plus minus 5 into square root of 6. So these are the two values of L. Uh, and now we move towards to find the value of M and N. Uh, so if, if in order to find the value of M and N, uh, so here we multiplied by uh, equation number 1 by equation number 2 and we divide it by equation number 3. So it means that uh, we multiply the left hand side of equation number 1 with the left hand side of equation number 2. Uh, so you see here uh, the left hand side of 1 and 2 is L, M and M, N. Uh, so we multiplied by here L, M is multiplied by M, N and it is divided by left hand side of equation 3. So it is L, N. Similarly left hand side of equation number 1 and 2 is 100 multiplied by 200 and it is divided by left hand side of equation 3 and right hand side of equation 3 it is 300. So here we need uh, some simplifications and you see here this L is cancelled out by this L and this N is cancelled out by this N and here we get this M into M equals to M square. And here you see that uh, these two zero are cancelled out by this two zero, and you get here two hundred is divided by three. So that when we divide two hundred by three, it is equals to sixty six point six. 
so that here you get m square equals to 66.6 so in order to find the value of m here we need to take the square root on both of the sides so you get here plus minus 66.6 square root okay so these are the two values of m and now in order to find the value of n uh, here uh, we multiply the left hand side uh, of equation number 2 and equation number 3 and we divide it by the left hand side of equation number 1 okay so now you focus on these two equations and we have the left hand side of equation number 2 and 3 is lm multiplied by sorry uh, the left hand side of equation number 2 is mn multiplied by ln and the left hand side of equation number 1 is lm and it is equals to the left hand sides of equation 2 and 3 are 200 multiplied by 300 and we divide it by 100. So here we need some simplifications and you see that this L is cancelled out by this L and this M is cancelled out by this M and here we multiply this N with N. So N times of N is equals to N square and here you see that these two zeros are cancelled out by these two zeros and here we get 2 is multiplied by 300. So when we multiply uh, these 2 by 300, uh, we will get here 600. So this is n square, but here we solve this problem for the values of n. So that here we need to take the uh, square root on both of the sides in this way. Okay, so these 2 and square root are gone and we get here n equals to... So now we write our answer in simplified form. So we write this 600 as... Uh, 2 multiplied by 2 and 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6. So uh, if you multiply these numbers you get here 600 and we now simplify the terms and we write here uh, we uh, um, outside these two numbers and get here 2 multiplied by 5 into square root of 6. Uh, so this implies that the values of n is equals to plus minus 2 5 is 10 into square root of 6. So these are the two values of n. So uh, finally we have uh, the values of l equals to plus minus 5 into square root of 6. The values of m equals to plus minus square root of 66.6. And the values of n equals to plus minus 10 into square root of 6. So these are the values of L, M, and N. And this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.